the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our entrance antiphon, O chosen people, proclaim the mighty works of him who called you out of darkness into his wonderful light. Alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And uh, as we gather together today on the Saturday after the Ascension, uh, uh, let's uh, call to mind our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mystery. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask, Blessed Mary, ever-Virgin, all the angels and the saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord have mercy. Christ have mercy. Christ have mercy. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Let us pray. O God, whose Son at his ascension to the heavens was pleased to promise the Holy Spirit to the apostles, grant we pray that just as they receive manifold gifts of heavenly teaching, so on us too you may bestow spiritual gifts through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. After staying in Antioch some time, Paul left and traveled in orderly sequence through the Galatian country and Phrygia, bringing strength to all the disciples. A Jew named Apollos, a native of Alexandria, an eloquent speaker arrived in Ephesus. He was an authority on the scriptures. He had been instructed in the way of the Lord and with ardent spirit spoke and thought accurately about Jesus, although he knew only the baptism of John. He began to speak boldly in the synagogue, but when Priscilla and Aquila heard him, they took him aside and explained to him the way of God more accurately. And when he wanted to cross the Achaia, the brothers encouraged him and wrote to the disciples there to welcome him. After his arrival, he gave great assistance to those who had come to believe through grace. He vigorously refuted the Jews in public, establishing from the scriptures that of Christ, that the Christ is Jesus. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. God is king of all the earth. God is king of all the earth. God is king of all the earth. For the Lord, the most 
Yes, voices upon his holy throne. Holy is King of holy earth. That princess of the peoples are gathered together with a to St. John. Glory to you, Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, Amen, Amen, I say to you, whatever you ask the Father in my name, he will give you. Until now, you have not asked anything in my name. Ask and you will receive, so that your joy may be complete. I have told you this in figures of speech. The hour is coming when I will no longer speak to you in figures, but I will tell you clearly about the Father. That day you will ask in my name, and I do not tell you that I will ask the Father for you, for the Father himself loves you, because you have loved me, and have come to believe that I came from God, I came from the Father, and have come into the world. Now I am leaving the world and going back to the Father. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. For the Father himself loves you, because you have loved me and have come to believe that I came from God. One of the great challenges during this uh, time of isolation is, uh, of course, division. Might be geographical, might be uh, uh, social distancing, might be simply, you know, we were divided from things we love to do, for instance. Right now, the uh, Syracuse Mets were supposed to be having their games and people would be going to the stadium, uh, uh, not to mention all the other uh, sports of the summer. And uh, so we are divided. Jesus today speaks about connection, how he brings about connection between all of us, and especially with his heavenly Father. So that because of their connection to him, we as his disciples are included in his heavenly father's love. We're connected to our heavenly father and, as he makes clear in other places, to each other. Right now we're in this nine days between uh, Ascension and Pentecost. We're praying for the Holy Spirit 
And the Holy Spirit is that spirit of community, that spirit of communion that brings us together regardless of uh, these uh, temporary divisions because of the quarantine. Uh, uh, we will uh, soon be working to restart public masses. The bishop has authorized that for uh, this coming Sunday, so we will uh, give people uh, this week a, a, um, a word on how we'll do that. Most people are going to be in the parking lot, and of course even then some people will still be watching us over the internet. But we will have uh, that uh, uh, connection through the Holy Spirit, through the love of Jesus, through the love of his Heavenly Father. So today, let's celebrate those connections and in prayer, lift up anyone we've been divided from during this time of the pandemic. And now let's bring our prayers to God, our Heavenly Father. We pray for the church throughout the world, for our Pope Francis, uh, who has begun public masses again at, uh, uh, in Rome. And we pray in a special way for our Bishop Douglas as we be, and for all the priests of our diocese as we begin public masses here again this uh, uh, a week from Sunday, that God may guide us to have a wonderful celebrations uh, given the circumstances and also uh, guide us in keeping uh, everyone safe. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. We pray for all uh, world leaders that they may work uh, for peace and justice throughout the world, especially in uh, uh, all those areas affected by the coronavirus and work to defeat the pandemic. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. We pray for all the uh, sick, especially those dear to us, especially those who have suffered from the coronavirus. And we pray in a special way for Monsignor Robert Yazel, who is recovering, is now uh, off the ventilator, undergoing physical therapy, that God may just bless him and help him. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for all the dead, especially those dear to us, um, and in a special way today for uh, Martin Ber Bergen and Buddy Watkins, who are remembered in this Eucharist, that God may grant them and all our beloved dead a place of refreshment, light, and peace. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for all the uh, uh, people throughout the world on the front lines of this pandemic for uh, police officers, first responders, uh, paramedics, fighter, fire, fire, firefighters, and all those who uh, meet first, all those who are sick, that God may keep them under, their, uh, under his protection and make them hands of his healing, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And we pause now to add our own intentions in the silence of our heart. Almighty God, we bring our prayers before you, knowing that you will answer them as you do all things through Jesus Christ, who is our Lord forever and ever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth, and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever.
Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine, and work of given hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, my friends, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands, for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and renewal of all his holy church. Graciously sanctify these gifts, O Lord, we pray, and accepting the oblation of this spiritual sacrifice, make of us an eternal offering to you through Christ, our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your heart. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God, through Christ our Lord, for after his resurrection, he plainly appeared to all his disciples and was taken up to heaven in their sight, that he might make us sharers in his divinity. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people, exults in your praise, and even the heavenly power, with the angelic hosts, sing together the unending hymn of your glory, as they acclaim, Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, Heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the higher. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the higher. You are indeed holy, O Lord the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them, like the dewdrop, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sin. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, and Douglas, our Bishop, 
our retired Bishop Robert and all the priests. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your faith. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you all. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on all. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on all. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. Minute Antiphon. Father, I wish that where I am, those you gave me may also be with me. May they may see the glory that you gave me. Alleluia. The body of Christ. The body of Christ. The body of Christ. Amen. The body of Christ. The body of Christ. Amen.
Let us pray. We have partaken of the gifts of this sacred mystery, humbly imploring, O Lord, that what your Son commanded us to do in memory of him may bring us growth and charity through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace. Thanks be to God. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, Pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. 